What's up everybody, Nash Harrington with CraveOnline.com. We're here at the Vogue Club in Hollywood, California, hanging out at the LA Direct Models VIP party. We're gonna be talking to all kinds of beautiful women tonight, including the cast for Vivid Entertainment's Spider-Man. Very excited, looking forward to that. We're also gonna get inside the club and see what this crazy party looks like. Something to look forward to, enjoy. Here with Allie Hayes. Allie, what was going on back there? Where? Nothing. I was just trying to like give you bunny ears and poke you in the air. Okay. Everybody likes okay. it in the ear. Of course. Right? <laughs> Are you looking forward to going inside? Oh, absolutely. I am sure it's going to be a great time. It's packed outside, so I can only imagine what it looks like inside. Um, I've been waiting all week to party, so I'm really excited. You didn't party midweek? No, usually I do, so it's pretty weird. <laughs> Now, you three guys were involved with Vivid Entertainment's rendition of the Spider-Man films. We got Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and Gwen Stacy. Now, what was it like, we'll start with Spider-Man, what was it like being the coolest version of Spider-Man? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was awesome, dude. Like, I got, to, um, I got to do my own stunts and stuff. I did some wall stunts, some, like, kicking off walls and flipping and stuff like that. Uh, it was rad. And just doing, like... Being able to f as Spider-Man, can I say f I just said it twice now. I don't f care, okay? As Spider-Woman, no. I was able to glide. Yeah. And he was the only one in the movie that's not, he, he's the only one that can't fly or glide. So fly. he got a little upset about that in the movie. Gwen Stacy's a little different in the movie. She actually has nothing to do with Peter sexually, Peter Parker, which we all know she's the one that broke him in. Although, I do get to pick on him a little bit about it in the movie, and my scene is actually with Flash Thompson and Mary Jane. He and I were a couple in the movie, and they're the real couple in real life. <laughs> it happens that way. Yeah. What would you say is one of your favorite things about working in this industry? All the hot, sexy girls. What do you mean, all the hot, sexy girls? That's my favorite part about the industry, too. <laughs> right? I love being on camera. I love all the makeup and hair. I love... Everything about it, I really do. I was meant to be a porn star. <laughs> um, all the hot ladies, come on. <laughs> there are a lot of hot ladies, and we have, we've experienced this as they've walked by. Of course, and LA Direct has the best girls too, so. And it almost seems kind of corny, but with the people that tweet back and give me comments and talk about the stuff that I actually am doing, I just get the genuine feeling that they appreciate it and that they like it, and so, I feel like I'm making somebody happy one person at a time. That's just gratifying, you know? Besides the money <laughs> and walking right into clubs. <laughs> um, that can be your favorite thing. That is actually my favorite thing. Okay, then that's your favorite thing. <laughs> I think porn is like creating a work of art. So I'm just like an artist. I'm creating a work of art for somebody to watch. It's a beautiful picture and I love to paint it. Whether you're choking me, slapping me, or making romantic love to me, it's still a picture. <laughs> What would you say, as much as you love your job, what would you say is the one downside? Um, you know, I think the only downside is that people aren't more accepting to it. I mean, everybody has sex. What's the big deal? I generally think all the stereotypes bother me. I think that a lot of people portray this industry really bad and sinful, even though that they may watch it, they may not accept it altogether. So I kind of think that that's probably the most negative part of it. Oh, my God, the creeps. Really? The stalkers. Is that why there's so, such heavy security here? Yes. Sarah, I have a job for you. You have to wake up at 8 a.m. I'm sorry. That f***ing sucks. I'm not a morning person. When I did one of the fight scenes, I did one where I dove over a girl to roll over top of her, and I completely f***ing ate it really hard. Wow. And I did, a, I did one where I did a, I did a backflip. Wait a second. What is the definition of ate it in this certain... Oh, clever guy. There you go. I guess you can take that any way you want. You know, it's difficult to have a social relationship outside of porn with a guy sometimes, so it, it's easier to date within the industry, but maybe that will change once I'm out of the business. I don't know. You know, no matter what you do, there's always going to be some sort of a stigma attached to it. And, you know, I was lucky to find my wife 
who is very supportive in spite of the fact that she's not in the industry at all. And she's very understanding, very supportive, and that's something that it's very hard to find. You're sitting at home, you're by yourself. Earlier this week, what was the last movie that you watched? <gasps> Titanic. I watched Titanic the other night. <laughs> you recently watched Titanic? The one where they're like blowing up all over in west side of Los Angeles. What's it called? Battle of LA. That's the one. Battle of LA. Did yes. you like the movie? I loved it. Sleeping Beauty, the cartoon from Disney. The most recent was a documentary actually from Michael Moore. I, I watched The Mummy King with The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a thing for The Rock, yeah. As you can see with your own very two eyes, that party was ridiculous. We had a lot of fun on the red carpet, talked to a lot of beautiful girls. The cast of Spider-Man was oh so entertaining. I think that they should be cast in the Broadway version. It's a good idea, right? All I know is that my company can keep sending me on events like this any day of the week. This is like Christmas in, Jul what month is it, May? Christmas in May. This is the best thing in the, Christmas in May. Best job in the world, guys. Be sure to stay tuned into CraveOnline.com for all the other great events that we will be at this summer. Crave Online. You guys better be watching. Jenna Presley.